Today, we're talking about the shutdown state of the nervous system. Most people know fight or flight. Some people know about freeze. And a lot of people are really in on changing their fawn patterns because of pop psychology. But this nervous system state of shutdown is extremely, extremely important and is something that not many people know about. But they are actually stuck in the state without knowing. This is why this this training here is going to be one of the biggest things and game-changing things that you can do for yourself. So I'm just going to quickly go over the nervous system state and the lines of defenses that we have. So personally, when I teach nervous, uh, the nervous system, we really dive into the survival states that all humans have, because that is how we keep ourselves alive. The only role of our nervous system is to keep us alive and living another day. And so we must be talking about this in order for us to actually make permanent changes. Our behaviors and thought patterns and actions are determined by our current nervous system state. And so when we perceive when our nervous system perceives a threat, and this happens outside of our conscious awareness. This is completely unconscious. We know logically that we are safe, right? But unconsciously, it's a different story. And if we just rely on the logical story in our mind saying, but we're safe, I'm not dysregulated. Mm, I am willing to bet that most people are because they are until, and even me, I am one of these people. I was one of these people too. Not anymore because of this awareness. So when we perceive a threat, when there is a stressor in front of us and a stressor could really just be someone else's post that we see as we doom scroll through social media, right? That could be that perceived threat. And so unconsciously, depending on what our patterns are, we have three lines of defenses. The first line of defense is the rest, digest, and heal phase. Everyone knows about this. This is part of the parasympathetic nervous system state. And then we go to fight or flight, which is our second nervous system state. Everyone knows about this, so we're not going to talk about this today. Um, But what most people don't know about is that once we are in that fight or flight state and we are there chronically and are nervous and we cannot meet the demands uh, of our stressors in front of us our nervous system will then put us into the third line of defense which is the dorsal vagal state of the parasympathetic nervous system I know those are just big words um, but all you need to know is that you have a third line of defense fight or flight is energy mobilization it's go we go right and dorsal vagal state is no go (laughs) we are not going we are immobile we shut down this is a highly highly protective mechanism that's why it's the third line of defense because if you think of uh, back in the golden uh golden olden days say a zebra is being chased by a lion right after being chased for a while the zebra might think oh my god i cannot run away from this this lion anymore and then what it does is it shuts down in the shutdown state we do our pain tolerance is much higher we feel numb to protect us from physical mental and emotional pain so after going for fight or flight for a very very long time we literally shut down our body says no girl or dude (laughs) we are gonna go into energy conservation which is the, the dorsal vagal state And I am going to quickly show you the symptoms of dorsal vagal state. Um, I'm going to share my screen. So this is the symptom of being in, these are the symptoms of being in a dorsal vagal state. It is collapsed immobility. As I mentioned, it is no go. We are not going, we are conserving energy. That is what the nervous system does. And if you are here on the state, the traditional practices of relaxation, meditation, of the slower yoga, like yin yoga, it's not going to work here. And I'll tell you the reason why in a minute. So in shutdown, these are the symptoms. Your body feels lost or difficult to connect to. As I mentioned before, our pain tolerance is high. We numb, we dissociate from our body because just imagine that zebra being eaten, right? That zebra doesn't want to feel anything as that terrible thing is happening. Is happening. So we're like literally um, disconnected to our bodies, 
our um our posture is sunken rounded just like this picture of me here where i'm just really low your chest is forward rounded and we uh, have a very very hard time with our confidence and our ability to speak up for ourselves we might not even know um, who we are because we are so disconnected right like we just don't feel like ourselves and there's that feeling of oh my god I just don't feel like myself myself and obviously our energy is low because our nervous system is literally conserving our energy because it cannot meet the demands and we have thoughts such as I, I don't want to be seen I don't want to put myself out there we feel shameful we don't want to connect with others because we can't connect uh, with ourselves and we just want to run and hide uh, and we don't want to be seen we just want to hide in our corner and um, do our own thing and so that's that so does that make sense to you? Are you having any of these symptoms? Um, let me know below so I can help you more specifically. Um, one of the things that I teach also inside my nervous system trainings that not a lot of people do, and when they go into my trainings, they're like, holy shit, everything makes sense now, is the concept of specificity. That's why I'm teaching you this and helping you to discern what the actual problem is. So if you recognize yourself in the shutdown state, then again, that's neither good nor bad. There's no right or wrong here. It's just data. Your nervous system is in the shutdown state for a reason. And as I mentioned before, the traditional relaxation practices is not going to work. So if you're already doing the things right, if you're doing the personal development already, if you're going through the meditation, maybe you're doing some sort of yoga or some sort of practices already that you know to be good for you, but you're like, it's not really working as well as I hoped. And you recognize yourself in shutdown. You've just been doing the wrong things at the wrong time, the wrong sequences. And again, that is just data, right? Because we are not really taught this. This is not taught enough. That's why I love talking about it. And what you want to do here in the state is you want to upregulate your system. And so if you want a somatic practice specifically for that, drop uh, shut down below and I will give you the practice to help you for that um actually I'm gonna scratch that change my mind <laughs> drop the comment fire so I know specifically what to give you drop the comment fire uh if you want that really powerful practice that I still use up until this day because it's very very versatile so how do you recognize yourself in the shutdown state you just feel very uh, and lazy and it feels very your energy is low you're always exhausted it's very difficult to even just get up and out of bed sometimes that is a symptom of the dorsal vagal state and you can definitely come out of it and all you need in order for you to get out of it is doing the right things at the right time in the proper sequences so being able to do that is what's going to help you get out of it. I have helped so many people have these massive breakthroughs that they're in dorsal vagal. And unfortunately, they think that there's something wrong with them because they all right, they're already doing the things like they're doing the meditation, they're doing the great things. Um, but then it then reinforces the shutdown state of you already think something's wrong with you when you're in shutdown, right? Um, and it makes it worse because we're just applying the wrong things. Once you're able to actually learn this, and I drill this in all the trainings, specificity is what I teach, right? I drill specificity in so that you'll know what to do in the future so that you can assess yourself and see where your state is so that you can get out of it. This is a skill that really should be taught everywhere <laughs> um and unfortunately even us who are in the coaching and hypnosis space we are not taught this and so everyone definitely needs this and if you do really want to take a deep dive on this if you're feeling very very shut down flat and you want to keep get yourself moving again if you really want to change things around and you're committed to yourself and you want to get back to your happy vibrant self then the let's fucking go course is the one for you to have because you will map out the nervous system states 
you will see specifically where you are in each state and you'll know so that you'll know for you'll know this so that in the future you can prevent it from happening sometimes we just don't know right um, and now that we know we can actively and proactively make changes for ourselves so that we don't tip over into this third line of defense in the future and if you are finding yourself in the third line of defense already in the shutdown you can upregulate yourself back up very very specifically using somatic practices you will receive nine nine somatic practices in there you will receive a worksheet to map everything out. It's going to be very clear and very easy to follow. And most importantly, this is something that you can use for life. I still use these practices. It's been two years. This is exactly why I'm not even close to burning out. And I have way more than way more responsibilities now and stressors more than any other time in my life. And so this is an incredibly, incredibly power, uh, powerful course. So if this is something that is of interest to you, drop LFG below and I'll give you information about it. This course has lifetime access and it's only $49. So if you are completely serious with your health and you want to take things into control now, it is one of the best investments that you can make for yourself. This is not going to be any just like any other training because you will be taught specificity everyone who has learned in my course has had the breakthrough and everything makes sense for them. So if you, again, if you've been finding that you're already doing the things, the personal development stuff, and you're still ping ponging between really, really low states and then the occasional high and back to low, well, it's this dorsal vagal state. And so LFG, let's fucking go and I will see you around.